being in bengal you know it's it's like fantastic in terms of the diversity that we have colonial on one side and the other bishnupur temple 600 years terracotta architecture and spiritual as well as monumental in scale so that became the very essence the the foundation of loving architecture so essentially if i tell you it is my hobby that i'm extending into the profession our creation is modification of our relationship it can be for plants relationship with the planet people green insects even those things which are not responding to you the function itself drives my interest to design for me technology is a support madhyam the direction is given by sustainability and spirituality and when entire thing is done sum up the design in the process of simplifying it that's what is a process that we employ one of the project you know rajkutir there was a heritage plaza initially on the verge of it being rejected we took a challenge of converting into a five star convention property we kept whatever we could keep even if there's a pillar we kept the pillar the way it is the walls the spaces stores were kept all together and then a layering of technology was done it employs almost 39 to 40% of less energy compared to the other similar hotel and convention property so rajkutir is one of the projects which i think we would like to celebrate i think there will be three distinct styles you know three schools of of styles in future one style would be those people who are minimalistic and naturalist they will handshake with ecology so much and they will do do a minimal interventions that's one style 70% of people still like the traditional style second style itself there is some designers who would take the conventional style or the stylization and do the modern functional marriage and a new language and the third one will be completely driven by technology and very changing kinetic architecture and that kind of a third style will come so i see three different styles you know what ai is doing it is giving an opportunity of global connectivity it has got huge data bank to itself its own capacity is increasing every day and it is giving solutions wherein you can bring so many places so many culture together so i think i see ai in future to give birth to a global architecture style that's what it will do and very fast for the young people observe and see the world so that our response is sensitive put yourself in the most difficult of the situations take the most challenging projects and i can tell you your best capacity and the best design comes out only when you are pushed into a toughest times so for architects you need to live that life soak in that atmosphere be in that environment and then think of interpreting it I think it's a very interesting initiative both for the inspiration documentation a visionary structure for the next level of design so it's interesting to see Forbes India and Kohler coming into a handshake for such documentation that you guys are doing 